crazy, they be crazy and plain. Don't know what they want. I'll take it on a stride. Got nothing left to shame. I got nothing left to hide. I got On a girl that has no name She thinks I might be famous And wants to hear me sing I can Jordy, it's Jordy, right? Man, that was just awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Just what Nashville needs. <laughs> I'll do this for you, Jordy. Um, one thing in the South that we're awful proud of is our, uh, our pig. We like the pig. And uh, we, like, we like to eat the pig, mainly. You know, you can have it for a pet, but it's awful messy. They stink. And, you know, they crap everywhere. They are cute, though. They're cute. And delicious. They're, they're cute till they get about four or 500 pounds. <laughs> <isn't they? laughs> but this is one that I wrote. There, there's part of the pig that we like, especially... They call it fat back, and you go in any, most grocery stores, local grocery stores, like I live in Ridgetop, just up the street here, and, and there's a little local grocery store, and they got a whole bin of nothing but fat back, all kinds. So, it's the part of the pig that we cook with, like we season our, 
vegetables with it, you know. We save the grease and cook with it. And we call it fat back. Is Jeff Burke here? Or is Jeff in the house? Nope. 
First time I met Jeff Burke was, I don't know, 12, 15 years ago, and uh, we were in Ireland, and we were all playing a festival together, and that's the first time I'd met Jeff. And um, We all continue to go to Ireland. I just got back from there, but... But the first time I met, I met, uh, first time I went there, I met Jeff. We drink beer, uh, pints of beer, any kind we could get, but we, we got turned on to Guinness real quick and we decided it's dark beer, but man, this is, it's good. It's <laughs> yummy. It's yummy. It's like drinking a loaf of bread. But there's a little town uh, called Ruski right in the Midlands of Ireland. And uh, we would stay with friends of ours there. And it was such a great place.
thanks.
yes, my guard. My guard stood. My guard stood on her. Yeah. <laughs> like that one but we like it yeah. Dylan never does any of our songs he did too did he I like horses. We're all right in on it, right? Mike starts. I don't know. 
I'm riding them high No spurs, no reins Just a free gentle ride Through the deserts despair These canyons of pain I'll ride them until the trail winds home I wish I could walk out And not feel afraid into the eyes always looking away and the ears heard the music feeling the air and your hearts were singing with joy to be there these wishes of oh horses I'm Southern sky and the fires of our circle were still blazing alive, and we'd walked in contentment, and our children would dance in the wild wind with the wild beast and the whole.
right. We made it through it. That was good. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Man, I would love to have a glass of water. If the bartender would mind, I would really, <clears throat> I really need it. All right, so um, I was doing a project with the McCreary sisters. I've done a lot of work with the McCreary sisters. I, I don't know if any of you know who they are, but these four lovely ladies that live uh, here in Nashville, they grew up around here, out near Murfreesboro, actually. But um, when you get the McCreary sisters in the studio, it's like bringing the church into the studio. And it's a religious experience, Tall Paul, I'm telling you, man. It's religious. <laughs> when you have the McCurries in the house, the church is there. So uh, I said one time, uh, I was talking to Scotty, and I said, man, I've just got this idea about a song that was inspired by the McCurries, and all I can think about is they were in here, and it shook my soul. So we wrote this song called Shake My Soul. Hey sister, gonna shake my soul. Hey sister, gonna shake my soul. Hey sister, gonna shake my soul. Got the devil by the hand and I can't let go.
shake your soul or two. Hey, sister, gonna be shaking my soul. Hey, sister, gonna be shaking my soul. Hey, sister, gonna be shaking my soul. Got the devil by hand and I can't let go. Hey, sister, gonna be shaking my soul. Hey, sister, gonna be shaking my soul. Hey, sister, gonna be shaking my soul. Got the devil by hand and I can't let go. Hey, sister, gonna be shaking my soul. Hey, sister, gonna be shaking my soul. Gonna shake my soul. Got the devil by my hand, and I can't let go. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hell yeah! We'll go straight to Angelina. Angelina, How's everybody? We doing all right? We're happy you came out to see us tonight. Oh, actually, you came out for the other guy, but we're, we're glad you stuck around anyway. He said, you came to see Damn the Banjos, and you're going to hear some damn banjos. That's damn right. it. <laughs> like it or not.
just while the makeup man's hands shut the eyes of the dead not to embarrass anyone but farewell angelina the sky is embarrassed and i must be gone the machine guns are roaring the puppets fever rocks the fiends tell the time bombs to the hands of the clocks We'll never deny it But farewell, Angelina The sky is erupting And let's go where it's quiet Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see, what have we got? Little places. Over here playing the guitar, his name is Mike McAdam, y'all. Yes, sir. Thank you. He's got a brand new solo record out. Uh, it just came out last month called Tremolo, and he wrote every song on it. No, or, no he didn't. No, there were two covers. God. Been lying this whole time. <laughs> All right. This one just happens to be my favorite because I get to play banjo on one of Mike's songs. It, I didn't make it on the cut on the record, but you know. You keep practicing, and I know, man. One of these days. It's, it's being a banjo player, it's like it's tough. I asked Mike, I said, Mike, what's this song about? And he said, beer. And it seems like every song on the record is about beer. That's right. Yeah. It's a country, it's a country young this was the country we used to cruise out here at night and drink beer milk cows and barns and mules and tractors was all you ever saw back when the farmers lived here now SUVs they lined the highway and I could barely believe my own eyes. Big swimming pools and shiny mansions. Why would someone ever need a house near that size? Cause love lives in little places and grows stronger most every day. In nooks and crannies and open spaces Volkswagens and Chevrolets Now I used to dream of fame and fortune But here lately my desire I finally listened when someone showed me love is all you need and I believe that it's true and love lives in little places and grows stronger most every day in nooks and crannies in open spaces in Volkswagens and Chevrolet. 
Yeah, man. I'm going to do this song. It took me seven years to write it. And finally, my wife finished it up for me with one word. I know, right? And then I said, I, now I've got to give you a credit for it. Shit. <laughs> so now, now she goes to the mailbox every day. She runs up there and it's like, I call this one shivering.
I've been shivering. There you go. Yeah, I forgot the I forgot a word, and it was the word that my wife had written. So, sure no mailbox money this week, honey. Sure, you forgot it. Best word in the whole song. It was the best word in the whole song. Wow. Yeah. It was How we're doing, well, well. We still doing good, everybody? Good. Awesome. Scotty, you, you sing us anything? a song, Scotty. Should I sing a song? Sing, yeah. sing that one you wrote that I like so much. <laughs> that, one, that one song. I, I'm from Maine. Anyone from Maine? No? Yeah, I didn't think so. But I'm from a small town in Maine, a mill town, up right in the middle of the state. If you were going to stick an axle through Maine, that's where I'm, that's where I'm from. But... After traveling around, touring and whatnot, that little town I grew up in is so much like so many other little small towns all over the globe. So I wrote a song called Nowheresville. It's about small towns like this.
Scotty Huff, Thanks, right Joe. there. Yeah. Speaking of whoa, whoa, we're going to do a song called Whoa, Whoa, that Tim wrote. And he's going to sing it, so I don't have to. Yeah, I wrote this song about, uh, it's about no one in particular, but actually it's about four people in particular. Um, you know, traveling around, tall Paul, you know this, uh, we meet characters, lots of characters out there. We don't forget them. So I wrote a song about a buddy of mine from Key West. I wrote a song about a girl I knew from New Orleans. I wrote a song about my grandfather. And uh, the rest one, the last one, it's about Tall Paul. So. <laughs> and I wrote, uh, it was a simple title. It's called Whoa, Whoa. My grandfather, he was struck by lightning twice. 
He like got struck, he got up, and it struck him again. Shit. He didn't learn Shit. his lesson the first time, man. <laughs> Back here playing drums, y'all, we come from the same state of North Carolina. His name is Dan Sherrill. We've been playing music together for about 15 years now in some configuration or another, but uh, he comes from around the Hickory, Newton, Conover, that, that area there in the central part of North Carolina. It was like this.
Thank you, thank you. All right, what are we going to do now, boys? Where I belong, I guess. Oh, yeah. Is Jeff still not here? Is Jeff not he, he told me he was going to come. But. This is another song that uh, I wrote from after my first trip to Ireland. You know, your first one is always the most memorable. Now I go and I'm just like, you know, blah, 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 drink beer. See you next year. So, but if you've ever been somewhere and you just kind of, Jeff, I'm just sitting here talking about you, man. I'm, I'm dedicating this song to you right here. This is about the first time that I went to Ireland. No, you don't have to tip me. You just have to listen to it because it's, it's, you were, you were with me. Or we were there. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> so the first time I went to Ireland, most of the flights, you know, they'll get into uh, Dublin and they'll get there really early in the morning, you know, like 7 o'clock in the morning. And everybody was telling me, man, when you get to Dublin, go to a pub, you know. But they didn't tell me that the flights got there at 7 o'clock in the morning and they said, you know, you got to go right away. So, you know, by the time I got to the hotel, it was about 10 o'clock in the morning. And off I went to a pub because they told me to. <laughs> but I, uh, I got this overwhelming feeling, uh, feeling of just walking around Dublin that... I had been there before. It was just really a strong feeling. And I ended up in a pub, of course, uh, till literally about 4.30 the morning, the next morning. And they closed at 11. That's right. The doors were shut down. It was me and about four men in their 90s sitting around, passing around a three-string banjo. And uh, so this is kind of the story of that moment. City 
go. There you go, Jeff. You can leave now. That's all right, man. <laughs> Okay, here's one. I'm not lying about this one either, y'all. This one's true. I got water, Teresa. Thank you, honey. So there was this, uh, there was a club up in New York City called the Lone Star Cafe, and we would, we would go up there and play every two months. And we'd do a Friday and a Saturday. And we'd always uh, double bill with some great act, you know, uh, this particular one was with Dr. John, so we spent two days with Dr. John. Uh, we would do a set, uh, the Carter Brothers, we would do a set, Dr. John would do a set, we'd do a set, Dr. John, then we'd finish it out at four o'clock in the morning. So on uh, Saturday night, uh, in came Stevie Ray Vaughan. So uh, he hung out with us in our dressing room all night long because he, did, he didn't want to go downstairs, but but uh, we hung out, and he was uh, pretty infatuated with the banjo and wanted to learn a, a song on the banjo. So I spent all that night and halfway into the next morning teaching him Cripple Creek on the banjo. And then I guess it was a year later that he had that horrible accident. So uh, I wrote a, san a song for, for my friend Stevie Ray Vaughan. So. And it's not going to be... A, playing all his licks on the banjos. I call it King of the Hill.
You're walking with the devil It's a hard way to go You're walking with the devil, baby It's a hard way to go Can't take it anymore I've been down that road before I'm back on the mountain And I'm king of the hill Back on the mountain You know I ain't coming down I think I've had my feel You know I ain't coming down I think I've had my feel That's right, baby There you go, thanks.
Mike McAdam, right there. Thank you. All right, we're going to th throw you a curveball. <laughs>
There you go. It's going way up. Are you playing Sunday? Well, I like it when you count Sunday. Bye, Paul. Everyone say goodbye to Paul. Bye, See you, Bye, Paul. Y'all can hear Paul here on Sunday afternoons. He plays with Jonelle every other Sunday, I guess. But they're playing this Sunday at uh, uh, probably like 5 o'clock, I think. Five or that's right, that's right. I think I'll come. I'm going to come down, Paul. Yeah, the next Sunday. Okay. September 4th. I'll be here. Uh, what are we doing? Okay. We got time for a few more here. do one because we hadn't done it in a long time so
I'll do a song. Um, I, I've never written a song about a train before till uh, this one. And I incorporated my buddy Dave Coleman in on this one. And uh, we've been talking about writing some together. And I said, I think I got something. So went down to Dave's house. And a couple hours later, we wrote us a song. I hear trains in the night from my bedroom window. The early with a family friend. I hear trains in the distance from the hillside. That old cry and it echo never ends. And I hear trains in the night as they go.
Lorraine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. One of Mike's songs called, what's it called, Mike? Mike, right before your eyes. It's about beer. <laughs> All right, everyone's written a pandemic song, and this was one of mine. I'm kind of a glasses half full kind of guy. And I figured, you know, 
you know, if the world's coming to an end, <laughs> you might as well dance, right? And party and drink and do whatever. So my alcohol consumption <laughs> went up through the roof. But I wrote a song called Might As Well Dance. y'all we're gonna do one more and uh man thanks for coming out <laughs> oh well Thanks, y'all. We are, we are we call ourselves Damn the Banjos. So uh, full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. We'll see you again.
Appreciate it.